A truck filled with potatoes pulls up to the Frito-Lay plant in Illinois, Connecticut. From the point of view of the people in Frito-Lay, this truckload of potatoes is the population. They want to know whether the potatoes in the truckload will make good chips. Each truckload carries about 45,000 pounds of potatoes. That's far too many potatoes to examine individually. And even if they could examine all the potatoes individually, too many mistakes would be made due to human error. Instead, Frito-Lay takes a sample. An inspector fills five 30-pound buckets up along the length of the truck. Frito-Lay can get better information by taking this 150-pound sample rather than any attempt to inspect the entire truckload. First, the inspector randomly selects 40 pounds of potatoes and punches a core down the middle of each potato. The hole in the potato chips makes them easy to spot on the assembly line when these potatoes go through the cooking process. Then the inspector takes another random 10 pounds of potatoes and sets them aside. This makes an even 100 pound of potatoes left on the inspection table. The inspector searches for internal defects, green edges, and mechanical damage, and other qualities. Next, each defective potato is weighed. If the fraction of the sample that is defective is too large, the entire shipment of potatoes will be rejected. Meanwhile, Rita has peeled the cooking samples so she can put them directly into the slicing machine. From there, they become chips. Rita picked out the chips from the sample and delivered them to the mini laboratory right on the plant floor. Less than 45 minutes later, Rita has both the results of the cooking sample and the inspection data. Everything meets specs. So based on a sample, Frito-Lay will accept this shipment of potatoes. Rita then informs the shipment truck driver that he can go ahead and load his potatoes on the assembly line. This lot of potatoes is on its way. The receiving department has approved this entire shipment of 45,000 pounds of potatoes from a representative sample of just 150 pounds. What can we learn about a population by examining a sample?